Alright. So, uh, let's identify what we've got. We've got 72 grams of hydrochloric acid, of HCl. And this wants us to convert to number of molecules, or just particles for the most part. So we're doing particles here. So, you might even want to, I get in the habit of doing this. You know, molecules. So, first step. We're now going backwards from what we just did. We're going from mass to moles. Then we're going to go from moles down to particles. So you just got to trace the opposite path. To do that, you're going to draw your little box. Mass to moles. Then you're going to go from moles to molecules in this case. Now, the reason we use this chart so there's never any confusion. You go mass to moles, you divide by, in this case, it's the gram molecular mass. So you're going to divide by the molecular mass of hydrochloric acid. Does anybody know what the molecular mass of HCl is? Yes. So chlorine's mass is 35.45, correct? Okay, good. So let's just figure this out really quick. You've got H is 1.01 .01 plus Cl, which is 35.45. What does it come out to be? So you're going to divide by that. Then, as you go from moles to molecules, you're going to multiply by Avogadro's number. So you write that down. In this case, it's the particle is molecule. Avogadro's number. What? Hang on, the tool first. What? That's fine. Can you write Avogadro number instead of writing the whole number? No. Write down the number. How's that any short? Avogadro is a long name. <laughs> All right, so let's just write it out. Same deal, just going the opposite way. 72 grams HCl. You know now that you're going from mass to moles. You're going to divide by. Now. What unit goes down here? Grams of HCl. You're getting very good at that. What are we trying to get to first? Where's our intermediate step? Mole. So it's one mole HCl. Then as you go from moles down to molecules, you're going to multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So we've got moles. We've got to put moles down here. We are converting to molecules. So molecules goes in the top. And you just remember your conversion. One mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules HCl. You do your math here. And you also make sure, I almost forgot, make sure that everything cancels out. Grams of HCl, moles of HCl. You have to cancel everything out. Like, do you have to put it on your paper? Can you just like, know it? So, what does this one come out to be? Anybody got a calculator or done it? 1.19 times 10 to the 24th. Say it again. 1.19 times 10 to the 24th. So, 1.19 times 10 to the 24th. What? Molecules of HCl. Yes. Molecules of HCl. So basically, it's just uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times 2. Because that is, you know, double that. So, are there any questions on this one? Yeah, Danielle. When you type this into your calculator, here's what you would do. This is how it actually worked. You'd go 72, okay, parentheses around that. Then you'd do 6.02 times 10 the 23rd, parentheses there, around that. Then you would hit divide, and you divide by, uh, you might want to put parentheses just for the heck of it to get used to it. Not that it really makes much of a difference. That will then give you the correct answer, okay? You have to multiply 
You have to multiply these two together, then divide. I mean, you might actually even want to go like this to be truly accurate, just to make sure there's no confusion. You could just multiply them and then decide to write and press divide without putting any parentheses. Well, actually, you, when you type this this in, though, you, you it, don't have to. If you're dividing it, you do. Huh? If you're dividing it, you do have to. Otherwise, it will mess it up. I'm not dividing it. Oh, I'm just saying if you do. So, any other questions? 